Hi everyone, the purpose of this video is to talk about electrocardiography. So what we're going to be talking about is monitoring your patient with uh, some leads for our monitor, right? So this is cardiac monitoring that is done continuously in critical care or acute care. There are different types of monitoring that we can do. And the simplest one is a three lead monitor. Uh, this type of monitoring only gives you three leads uh, on your cardiac axis. And for this video, it's a good idea to review the physiology of your heart as well as your electrocardiograms and uh, the location of all the axes in the heart. Um, so a three lead monitoring system consists of three leads and we obviously need a patient to monitor. Uh, when I'm putting on the leads, I'm going to do hand hygiene and double patient identification. Uh, and then I will explain to the patient the procedure and why it's being done to decrease their anxiety. The next thing to think about is patient privacy, but we do need to review the patient's chest to be able to place the leads. So it's a good idea to draw the curtains or close the door. Then I will ask my patient uh, to uh, open their chest and we will look at where these three leads can go. Um, the idea is that we want to look at the uh, trans uh, transmission of the electrical signal in the heart in three different leads, lead one, lead two, and lead three. Uh, the leads are not the electrodes, leads are calculated from uh, what the monitor sees in the electrodes in terms of electricity movement from the negative to the positive pole. Um, when we're placing our electrodes, um, there's a very simple trick uh, that you can use to remember where they go, especially for a three-lead monitor. Uh, it's righty-whitey, so the right always goes, uh, the white, white goes on the right, and then smoke over fire, so black goes over red. And I will show you exactly where this goes on the patient's chest. When you're connecting the leads, uh, it's a good idea to wipe the patient's chest to make sure they're not sweaty, the skin is not oily, so that you have good adhesion for your stickers. Um, electrodes are attached to cardiac stickers, so you would put a sticker here, here, and here. And the location is usually under the clavicle, uh, close to where the arm attaches to um, the, the, the clavicle, right here. Okay. So my right lead is white, righty whitey is going to go right under the clavicle on the right side. And I would normally attach it to a sticker. Um, then smoke over fire. So black goes over here under the left clavicle. And the red lead goes all the way to the left side under the umbilicus. It's important to get this lead uh, under the umbilical line, so somewhere over here on the left side, because technically this is a lead for the leg. So normally when we're doing an EKG, that lead would be located all the way at uh, the patient's leg, but for monitoring, it is okay to connect it here below the umbilical line. Um, so once you've connected your patients, you can turn on the monitor and the leads that you will get from this are leads one, lead two, and lead three. Now this type of monitoring is, as I mentioned, used often in emergency departments or for patient transport. Uh, the uh, goal of monitoring in this case is to monitor the patient's heart rhythm. So you may not necessarily see if the patient is having cardiac ischemia. These leads are not the only way to see what's happening with the patient's heart, but lead two is a very good lead to look at the cardiac rate and rhythm and have an idea of uh, any irregularities that may happen. 